Did you know that there are nearly 8 million women-owned businesses across every sector in the United States? Women are an economic force. And for the next few minutes, we'll discuss how women can continue to impact the global economy. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Joining me is Jennifer Basegli from Women Impacting Public Policy. Jennifer, welcome to the program. Thank you. In addition to the statistic that I just mentioned before, which is unbelievable, I did not know 7.8 million uh, women owned businesses in this country. Women owned firms make up 28.7% of all non farm businesses from across the country. Women owned firms generate over $1.2 trillion, trillion with the T, in annual receipts. Women are an economic force. We are, thank you. It's about time more people knew about that. And to support that, not only are we an economic force that you're hearing more about, but we actually have an economic platform that Women Impacted Public Policy has worked with our million members across the country to put together, women business owners across the country, and we call that the economic blueprint, which is made up of several principles, not specific legislation per se, but several principles and issues that we need Congress to hear and to understand so that we can continue to flourish as women business owners. Okay, so it sounds like this is an educational uh, awareness for members of Congress on Capitol Hill, and also I presume all also folks in the White House that says, you know what, women are here, we are a dominant force, but we're a dominant force on so many different levels in terms of revenue, in terms of health care, in terms of the voting bloc. We are here, we have a loud voice, you need to listen to us. You're exactly right. So it's educational, it's very much on advocacy as well, and it's very issue-based as I mentioned before. So if I could give you a couple examples on some issues that we're focused on, especially around the economy and here in Washington, D.C., we're very focused on government procurement. Did you know that the federal government has a 5% goal of annual contracts that should be awarded to women business owners every single know year? That. And did you know that they have not achieved that goal of 5% yet? Why? So they didn't really have the vehicle to do that until 2011. In 2011, we were able to see the successful passage of the Women's Set Aside, which actually gave government a contracting, a way to get to us contractually. And so we're very excited about it. It's a great start. And in effort to make sure that that's a success, WIP has partnered with American Express Open for Small Business to create a program called Give Me Five, focused on that 5% set aside again, which ensures that women business owners that are trying to get into working with the federal government or grow their business by working with the federal government can be really good prime vendors to the federal customer as well as good teaming partners to other businesses. Jennifer, is your work done? Is WIP's work done? Is there much more to be done? What, what issues or what thing keeps you up at night? The thing, so our work is certainly not done and it will not be done. We're going to continue to grow. We're going to continue to flourish here in the United States. I would tell you the one thing that keeps all of us awake at night, and I think this is small business and large business right now, is this fiscal cliff that we're all talking about. And we're hoping that uh, Congress keeps everything, every opportunity that's on the table open for consideration right now. We as women business owners realize that we need to carefully manage revenue and spending in effort to have a successful business. We hope that government does as well. Well, I was about to say, you would think that the federal government would <laughs> I mean, that's just such a common sense arithmetic, simple math. What you spend, you need to bring in, uh, and so forth, right? You would. You would. You would think it's very um, almost common sense, as right. you mentioned. And we're just hoping that they realize that by not making a decision, they're actually making a decision. And that delay of any sort of decision hurts us just as much as any sort of just across the board cut. So we're really hoping they, they turn and make a decision quicker. And Jennifer, speaking of that, uh, are you and your members are, are, are writing, faxing, talking to members of Congress, but also the administration saying, please act and please act decisively because you're impacting women-owned businesses. We are, and there's actually a call to action on the WIP website at WIP.org, W-I-P-P.org, that folks can go up to that actually has a letter that's ready to go. They can uh, add any of their specific details around it, and it'll be sent to their member of Congress to make sure that, that Congress does know exactly as you mentioned, that this will affect us and we need a decision soon. All right. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And, of course, thank you for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Take care.